What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Guys, in today's video, I have some exciting news for Bitcoin. There is one chart which is showing some bullish divergence, which could potentially be leading to the Bitcoin price breaking out to $23,000. Yes, I'm gonna be talking about that in today's video. Not only that though, guys, I want to talk about if we break $20,000, what is gonna to happen to Bitcoin? So definitely stay around for that, guys. As always, sit back, relax, and get ready for the video. All right, guys, welcome back to another video and thank you for joining me once again. If you haven't already smashed that like button, then definitely do so. Let's get up to 500 likes in today's video. That would be amazing. Also, if you're new to my channel, first of all, a huge, massive, warm welcome to the channel. And second of all, scroll down, hit subscribe and then tick that notification bell so you stay notified about my videos. Guys, the Bitcoin price, it's been crazy recently. Um, yeah, I mean, we are so close to 20K and if we break this 20K, it's gonna be very, very bad news. I'm gonna start with the, if we break 20K and then later on in the video, get into this uh, bullish divergence, which we are seeing on the one hour chart, which could lead to a nice break of the Bitcoin price up to around 23, potentially $25,000. So let's jump into the charts right now. All right guys, so now we're in the charts, let's take a look at what is going on. Right now we're currently sitting at around $21,100, which definitely is not bad. If we go onto the four hourly chart, we can see that it's been extremely choppy over the last few hours for Bitcoin. We have been breaking up, breaking back down, potentially trying to break up again. And most importantly, just staying away from that $20,000 mark. Well, actually, it's not even 20K. The previous all-time high is around $19,700. So technically, even if we break 20K, we do have a couple of hundred dollars wiggle room, in my opinion. But if we go back to the daily chart and we take a look at what could happen if we break this 20K, well, realistically, we're going to have a target of around 16500 uh, down to around about $13,600. This would be my honest target for Bitcoin if we were in fact to break this um, 20K or break this $19,700, we would see a dump down somewhere in this range right here. Now, how much is that percentage wise? That would be a dump of up to around 30%, which definitely would not be nice. However, there are some great opportunities to trade this on Bybit or BitGet, wherever you want. And I have over $16,000 worth of free bonuses down below, as always, guys. So there are opportunities to short this market. There are opportunities to long this market if you're bullish, if you think we are gonna, in fact, pump back up. Um, if I can actually take the, the tool off the line, we're gonna pump back up to this $32,000 level. Personally, I think always trend is your friend. And if we look at the overall trend of the market, the overall trend of the market is in fact bearish. And until we probably break this $32,600 level right up here, I am not really gonna be bullish in the short to medium term. Of course, long term, you know I'm bullish, but short term, really, I just can't be bullish. Guys, if you're not already following me on Twitter, go and follow me on Twitter right now because yeah, I post amazing content there every day and um, it's great to stay in, in touch with you guys. It's an easy way you can uh, comment on all my, all my tweets see different pictures from behind the scenes of my life and everything like that. Make sure you're following the verified account as well. Now, I wanna take a look at this chart, guys, because it may look a little bit confusing at first. However, I'm gonna talk about this bullish divergence we are seeing on the um, hourly time frame for Bitcoin and on the RSI. We are seeing lower lows for the Bitcoin price right here. We can see right there, lower lows, potentially even another lower low, worst case scenario. And we are seeing higher lows on the RSI. This is a bullish divergence and they usually lead to a break towards the upside. Now, I'm not sure if this is gonna happen now, who knows? However, we could have another dump down towards the downside here before breaking up. But if we were in fact to see this, it would be an absolutely amazing trade opportunity right there of around 12% or targeting highs of around 22.5%. This will be absolutely amazing. This does, of course, all hinge on the next few hours for Bitcoin. If we can, in fact, stay above this uh, level of support right here at around about 20,200, let's just say 20K for simplicity's sake, 
if we can stay above this, then we do have a chance of pumping back up to around $23,000. Now, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments if you think this is going to happen, if you think this is possible, if you believe in these bullish divergences, if you think they are, in fact, going to make this Bitcoin price pump, I would love to, in fact, know. Guys, if you didn't already know, I have an indicator called Market Spotter. Now, Market Spotter is pretty much one of the best indicators out there. All you have to do is go ahead to the buy page, purchase it, then go over to trading view, activate it, and then you can go ahead and get access to amazing indicators that can help you trade more profitably, profitably day in, day out. It literally tells you where to buy, where to sell, where to long, where to short, whatever it may be, and it kind of takes the guesswork out of trading. There are three indicators. Uh, we have V1, momentum, V2, trend, and V3 is support and resistance. And you can go ahead and book a free call right here uh, and it's kind of an introductory talk call here. What Matty will run you through how to use the indicator and basically um, tell you how it can improve your trading. So Market Spotter will be linked down below. At least check it out, guys, even if you are not interested. Let's now take a look at Ethereum. So Ethereum, just like Bitcoin, we are all on the cusp of a very potentially dangerous situation right here because Ethereum right now is trying to hold on as much as possible as it can to this $1,000 level of support. Now, this may have been crazy a few months ago back when we were at 3,600, 3,700, almost $4,000 back up here in April. However, now we are currently sitting at just $1,100. And this definitely is a little bit of a shock because we had a huge rise up to almost 5K and now we're back down to 1K. So definitely not an ideal situation for Bitcoin um, or in, in, in this case, Ethereum. However, as I said in my last video, guys, this gives us amazing opportunities to in fact be going and buying crypto at a discount. Now, I know maybe you don't have so much spare capital uh, on the side. I definitely don't. That's why I'm having to sell some things to, in fact, get some more uh, capital, some more fiat or USDT to, in fact, go ahead and buy at these prices. Because if we just buy Ethereum at this price and it goes back to all-time highs, which it will, that's like a 400% gain. Tell me which market you're going to have, not a guarantee because this is not guaranteed and, of course, not financial advice, but tell me which market you're going to have an almost certain 400% return probably within one to two years. Well, probably there's nowhere else you can go ahead and do that unless you're buying Netflix or Facebook or, or whatever it is if it absolutely dumped. Even then, I don't think you would get more than like a 30, 40% return. So it's an absolute amazing opportunity. If we do see a dip below $1,000 here, guys, we could see the price come down to my target of around about $760 or right here around $600. So between $600 to $750 is the target for Ethereum if we in fact go ahead and break this um, $1,000 price point. So guys, I just want to talk to you quickly uh, towards the end of the video. I know it's um, definitely not been an ideal situation over the past few days for Bitcoin, for Ethereum. However, bear markets and these times are in fact when the most money is made. You may think that the bull market, when we're at 70K, that's when the most money is made. Well, no, the bear market is where the money is made. People are grafting, people are grinding, people are putting all the money they can into crypto right now. And I'm not saying you should do that. I'm just saying that keep in mind, this is how a lot of people got rich. I made a lot of money from the 20 uh, kind of 19 bear market. I was putting almost all my money I had into crypto. I was literally putting everything I had and possibly could, and I was buying Bitcoin when it was like three, four thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, even back in 2019, and I was buying it back in 2017 when it was like, or 26, no, end of, middle of 2017 when it was like two thousand dollars, something like that. So always I've been stacking no matter what the price is. If you haven't already watched yesterday's video, go back and watch it because this gives you an exact price point where you should be entering Bitcoin. So thanks so much for watching today's video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.